So you wanna know how to increase your ankle flexibility or mobility. Well, in this video, I'm gonna teach you everything that you need to know in order to do that. We've had some amazing feedback from all the hip mobility uh, movements that we were doing last week and the videos, the, or the Unity V live shows that we did. And now we've had some awesome questions on how to do the same for ankle mobility. Ankle mobility is one of those things that really holds people back, especially with squats and yeah, any lower body movements like that. So I'm gonna take you guys through some really, really cool stuff that you can do, that you can implement straight away in order to get really flexible and really mobile ankles. The first thing that we like to do is uh, conditioning for the ankles, where we condition ourselves in the end ranges of our strength so that you reduce your risk of injury and you become strong and safe in, uh, in really unfavorable positions. So the first thing we do is a couple of calf raises like this. These are really good. And you can just do this as a warm up. You'll do more than I'm doing, but we do all different angles, okay? So you could do anywhere from five to 10 reps. Then what we do is some walking around on the outside of your ankle like this. So I can you know, walk back and forward or just walk around the room. And I'm just conditioning my ankle to be able to go there. You know, this is a really unfavorable position. It's something that we don't normally do. So by conditioning ourselves to go to that unfavorable position, and if we're ever walking and we slip, we're far less likely to sprain our ankles or do anything like that. What that is, that's really your warm up and your conditioning to prevent injury. So those exercises are really, really good for you to do. Now we go into just the basic static stretching. This is the stuff that you can do anywhere and it's all you need is a wall. The, the best thing would be a step like this. This is really, really cool. So the next stretch that we're gonna do is a loaded stretch. Grab a kettlebell and we're gonna lean right into it like this. So the weight of the kettlebell is pulling me deep into the stretch and this is where we're starting to get a little bit more serious. This one you do need it to be a little bit more confident, a little bit more conditioning. Normally I would do this with 50 kilos. I've only got, uh, so in, I think it'd be 110 pounds. I've only got uh, 30 kilos or 65 or 70 pounds, whatever it is. Um, so I'm just, but just for the purpose of the video, I'm just doing a light one. So I'm just gonna deadlift this up and then I'm gonna come down and get the barbell just above my knees and then sink down into it like this. And all of these things, all of them over time are going to create ankle mobility. It's one of those things that, you know, if you sit down at a desk for long periods of a time in a day, then your ankle mobility is gonna be crap. If you're a woman and you wear heels, or if you're a man and you wear heels, some of you out there might uh, enjoy that then you've really got some work to do because when you wear heels, you're in this horrendous position all day long where your feet are in this dorsi, uh, sorry, plantar flex position and they become very poor at going into dorsiflexion. How do you turn that into something that you can do daily? Well, as I said, you have to, you have to start somewhere and build on it. And if you did everything that I just showed you there and you did it all for just one or two sets, that's one way to do it, you could do that. Another thing you could do is you could find the ones that you feel give you the most benefit right now at the time being and, and you know double down on those and then you can periodize by just doing one thing for four to eight weeks and then moving on to something else. But I would say in the absolute least, I would do the first things that I did, the ankle conditioning, the warm up, the calf raises, the ones where I showed you walking around. Do those just for a couple of minutes or you know, one minute each, one to two minutes each, and then go into calf stretch against the wall. Do that whenever you can. You can do that multiple times throughout the day. Uh, and then try and go down with the barbell or the kettlebell at least for one set um, each day. And I would do this daily. I would work on ankle mobility daily if I was you. I wouldn't look at it as something that you do you know, only twice a week. Like you can get some really good results with some other parts of your body when you just work on it twice a week or three times a week, but ankle mobility I'd be doing daily. And then the last thing, which I didn't show you out there, but we've done so many times in our videos, you only need to go back and look at the video we did on Friday on the squat routine. That squat routine, if you can do that uh, daily for, five to 10 minutes a day is really, really good. But if you want to make a serious improvement, if you try and do the 30 day squat challenge where you do it for 30 minutes a day accumulated for 30 days, so every day for 30 days, that'll really, really help as well. For me, it's, a, it's much of a simpler thing than what a lot of people think it is. It's just a matter of taking that ankle into full range of motion and spending some time in there and, and using some tricks, uh, some loaded techniques to, you know, to, to create some great mobility.